plain and solid shapes. Tina, today our class teacher taught us about various shapes. The discussion was very interesting. You know, we are surrounded by different kinds of shapes. Teacher also told us about different kinds of lines. Okay, Neha. So today let us discuss about lines and shapes. Take a small piece of rope or thread and hold its two ends. If you hold it tightly, you will get a straight line. If you hold the string loose, you get a curved line. You can draw a straight line with the help of a scale. Can we also draw a curved line using a scale? No, Neha. Scale or other similar objects are used to draw only straight lines. To draw curved lines, we need a pencil and paper only. If we move the tip of a pencil over a sheet of paper freely, we get a curved line. Do you know, Neha, we have three kinds of straight lines. Sleeping line, standing line and slanting line. Oh, it means this figure has two sleeping lines, two standing lines and one slanting line. Absolutely correct. Using these lines, we can draw various shapes. Now look at this shape. It is made up of three straight lines, two of which are slanting lines and the third is a sleeping line. This shape is called a triangle. It has three corners. The three straight lines are its sides. This shape here is made up of four equal straight lines. It is a square. It has four corners. Now look at this shape. It is also made up of four straight lines. So it also has four sides and four corners. But it is not a square. Because all its sides are not equal. Its opposite sides are equal. It is a rectangle. Do we have any shape made up of curved lines? Yes, they are. We have shapes made up of curved lines also. Look at this shape. It is made up of a closed curve. It has no corners. And this is called a circle. One more thing I would like to tell you, Neha. That these shapes like triangle, square, rectangle and circle are called plane shapes. Why? Because each one of these can be drawn on a plane paper. In fact, we have another kind of shapes which cannot be drawn on a sheet of paper. For example, box, eraser, dice. These are called solid shapes. Solid shapes have faces, edges and vertices or the corners. Here is a solid shape. It looks like a dice. This is a cube. It has six flat faces. It has twelve edges and eight vertices. And all its edges are equal. This is a cuboid. It looks like a pencil box or a brick. It also has six faces, twelve edges and eight vertices. Now take a look at this shape. It is like a can or drum. It is called a cylinder. It has three faces, two flats and one curved. It has two curved edges and no vertex at all. It has two faces, one flat and one curved. 
It also has one vertex and one edge. It is a cone. Now observe this shape. It looks like a football. It has no vertex and no corners. It has only one curved face. Oh, as we have straight line and curved line in the same way we have flat face and curved face. Right. Do you know Neha? A solid slides through its flat face and it rolls through its curved face. No, not all. Please explain. See, take a box and push it along the floor. It slides. Now take a small rod and push it along the floor. It rolls. Shapes like a cylinder can roll as well as slide. Why does this happen? Because it has both flat and curved surface. Exactly! Now you understood. And now it's also time to wind up. Bye-bye Neha. Bye-bye.